Welcome back. It's reality check. It's our exciting finale and we have lots of fun things planned today. Starting with our vibe check, which is agriculture. Whoever better embodies agriculture throughout the video wins a prize. And that's extremely random. It's not random when you find out that Farmer Ty and Farmer Mitchell from Farmer Wants a Wife are on set today. What? Yes, it's true, Amanda. No, oh my God, They're I am here. so excited. Oh my. We're doing it. <laughs> I'm sorry, let me. <clears throat> oh, I mean, you look fine. Amanda, what are you doing? I'm just, you know, we have to look presentable for the farmers, Rob, come on. Amanda, it's too late for that. We look the way we look and we have to start. This is Reality, Reality Check. Check. It was Billy Joel night on the latest episode of The Masked Singer, Agriculture. We watched four new mass celebrities belt it out on stage. Sadly, spaghetti and meatballs had to go home in the end. Let's take a look. You're probably wondering what a poodle moth is. And would you believe only one has ever been found in the world? Once upon a time, I was the belle of the ball. I had the whole world dancing from dusk till dawn. The biggest lesson I've learned, you don't want to die young in a path you don't love. I tend to see people for who they are on the inside. Amanda. Yes. What was your favorite costume out of the group? I would say I really love the clock. I love an ornate costume. And I think if I were to be on The Masked Singer, I would be a cherry. Oh. I just love cherries and I think it'd be really cute. I know cherries are a fruit that grows from the ground and that is part of agriculture. The clock was my fave. Yeah. The clock reminds me of something that you'd see in Hugo, the mm -hmm. movie Hugo. It's mm -hmm. like very fantastical. Yeah, we agree. Yeah. We agree. 100%. What would you Good dress taste. as? Is it stereotypical to say a French bulldog? Not at all. Yeah, I'd I be a, a very colorful one. Neon colors, black lights. Dueling in the Smackdown. Spaghetti and meatballs. Oh. And lizard. Oh. Amanda. Yes. Did you just crop dust me? Wait, are you being serious? I'm being agricultural. Ah, <laughs> oh, that's yes. good. Yes. Do you think spaghetti and meatballs and lizard deserve to be in the bottom two? Yeah. I think a, quite a few deserve to be in the bottom two, if I'm honest. I think agriculturally it makes sense. <laughs> You know, I think that spaghetti and meatballs is more related to agriculture than a lizard. There aren't many lizard farms. Oh, you've never been to Puerto Rico. You've been to a lizard farm in Puerto no, Rico? No, but I've been to Puerto Rico. I got dumped there. How long was that relationship? Very short. All right, well, so was spaghetti and meatballs on the show. Restaurant tour, TV personality, you know about Master Chef, it's Joe Bastiani! expect spaghetti and meatballs to be Joe Bastianich? No, I didn't watch the show going, that's Joe. Right. There he is, but right. once he took his spaghetti off of his head, uh, it made sense. He's always talking about being Italian, Italian this, Italian that. I thought it was gonna be Cake Boss. Remember that guy? What do you be, Cake? Yeah. Or a boss. Right. You know? I'm a, just a dumb girl. No, you're not. I think you're so smart and you're so witty and I feel like you have great agriculture. You're right, I do have good agriculture. Make sure you watch The Masked Singer on Wednesdays at 8, 7 central on Fox and the next day on Hulu. And let us know who you think is gonna win in the comments, agriculture. <laughs> we are so happy to have Farmer Ty and Farmer Mitchell from Farmer Wants a Wife here today. We have a quick game for you before we chat about what it was like being on the show. Is that okay? That's great, sure. come on. Amanda and I are both city kids who don't know much about farm life. We'll tell you some assumptions we've made and you'll hold up either the true or false side of your paddle to tell us if it's accurate or not. Got 50 feet of shot. Farmers get up before the sun rises every day. Both false. Shut up! Wow, that's like Being really honest, nice. sometimes you know things happen and you gotta sleep in a little bit longer, get your beauty rest. Does a rooster Same. crow in the morning too, though? Normally about 4.30, but then it'll shut up for an hour or two, so. Okay. Wow. Farmers live off the land so they don't go to grocery stores or go shopping. Can the paddle go this way, you know, because it's a little bit of both? <laughs> yeah. Uh, you can okay. make it whatever you want. False. false. Yeah. Okay. False. True and false. You're going to the grocery store. Absolutely. I don't cook. Wow. You don't cook. Uh, looking for a wife. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> a homesteader. You're looking for a homesteader. <laughs> yeah, we'll eat out. Farms don't have good Wi-Fi. So oh, absolutely false. We have a true oh. and a false. Wow. Well, I don't have internet, so. 
really. You have yeah. no internet. No internet. No, just caca. But what if? It's just we're we're out there. That you was know? the rooster crowing wow. or something. No, that I, got yeah. that. That's, that's I got that. That's your only entertainment. A little cabin on the hill in the woods. You know, there's not much to it out there. So, I did get a TV, but no Who's internet. Who's posting for you on social media? Me. But you don't have Wi-Fi. I have 5G. Oh, phone unlimited. Service. Oh, phone service. And you have electricity, yeah. obviously. Yeah, I, do I mean that would be so stupid to assume that you didn't. Yeah. Right? <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Farms always have a wide variety of animals on them. Depending on the farm, but I'd say majority yeah. true, yeah, for sure. Okay. We just got horses and cows. I got three dogs, some chickens, a lot of wild deer, turkey, dove, some fish, some ducks. Um, a couple hanging on the walls. We can keep going with it. Yeah, a lot hanging on the walls. I like to harvest, you know, a lot of wild game and cook it for my friends and family. I was gonna say, do you eat any? Do you eat any of the animals? Just oh, yeah. the just the game. Everything. Yeah. The dogs? No, 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 oh. no, no, no. Stop it! Oh, he said, I was like, not the dogs, but I wasn't gonna, I wasn't you gonna You saying the game? Maybe I'm like, you don't know, don't animals. speak like you understand. I'm like, oh, the game. I don't know what the game is. Uh, no, they're like birds, wow. right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mostly birds. I know what the game is. I just sounded funny coming out of your mouth. Yeah, the game. I mean, if you ate dogs, that's your business. Don't share. <laughs> Farmers always wear overalls. Yeah, this is a silly question, Katie. Yeah. Katie! It's not Katie. Like, look, I'll, I'll, Stupid look Katie! Up. They don't always, but like in the wintertime, yeah, I've got some of those that are insulated. Yeah. yeah. And it's good for briars too, you know, depending on what you gotta walk through. You have briar patches. A lot, yeah, that's oh, where the does. rabbits like to hang out actually, because they get in there and they're, you know, they're a prey, so they're gonna hide in there and try to hide from all the other predators. Are you taking notes? Mentally, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Farmers only listen to country music. False. Okay, so what are we listening to? No, EDM mm. dance music. Oh, nice. You both said EDM? I, I did not oh. say EDM. That <laughs> came out of time. Okay. I was like, I'm 42, wow. I'm 27. Okay, EDM, so, hey, I love that. Wide variety, sorry, young, baby. Okay, and how about you? You know what? I like a little Little Wayne, a little bit of rap. You know what? something about Little Wayne. What's that? He was on The Masked Singer. Oh, wow. One of your Fox brother and sister shows. Little Wayne, you see this? I'm coming out to hang out with you, okay? I thought you brought to say I'm coming for you. Yeah. No. <laughs> I know. Okay, so I have some questions for you guys. Was it hard to get used to being on camera all the time? You know, for me it was, because I didn't live in my house. I lived in a camper on the other side of the driveway, so as soon as I was waking up, camera's in the face, coming out the trailer. That was tough. I had actually done a pilot for a TV show a long time ago, so I understood what it was going to be like. But uh, it, was, it was a big production, so it was different. Like being so vulnerable and exploring all of those connections with a camera in your face, I can only imagine how intense that would be. It's different at first. Like, you know, you sit down that first one-on-one one -on -one solo date. Yeah. And it's like, oh. but then once you start getting that vibe and that connection, hopefully, it, you know, the cameras go away. What made you want to be on the show? <laughs> this is kind of a random fact, but uh, I haven't really told it much, but why not today? I actually turned down like season two or three of The Bachelor. At whatever point it was, it was right there at the very end, and I was at a big rodeo out west. They contacted the media department, and I was like, eh, I don't think that's for me. So whenever this came around, I was like, maybe I ought to do it this time. How did you get comfortable with having so many women around you at once? I think just being yourself. You know, I say this a lot, but authenticity is the most attractive thing. So if I walked out just being myself, had a smile on my face, I felt like they could be pretty genuine back, you know? Yeah, just just do you. That was just the whole thing. Just live life like it's another day and, and get to enjoy them. Like, get to meet the ladies and hang out with them. It's fun. Have you adjusted to life outside of this since you've been on TV? Like, what is life like now? We've been going pretty fast, you know? Haven't really been able to have a break. Honestly, I'm ready to watch the next episode, but after all of them are done, I'm ready to sit down at the farm, watch some sunsets and relax. After the show is over, are you gonna cut your cable? <laughs> <laughs> it's not even, question. I don't even have cable. That was too much to dig in, you know, from oh, $30,000. He's gonna take okay. a baseball bat to the satellites, what are you gonna do? Do you two think you'll return to TV anytime soon? I'd be honored to be back on the screen. I love it. If anything's out there, I'm ready. <laughs> yeah. My mom always pushed me to the finer arts, so I actually, you know, used to do a lot of choir, ensemble, theater, and that kind of stuff, so I think that, uh, you know, a new flame might be burning. A one-man show. Farmer tour coming a across the country. Show. <laughs> yeah. What made you want to be on the show? I thought it was an opportunity unlike anything I've ever heard in my life, you know? Coming out and girls living at my 1890 cabin in the woods, uh, let alone that never happens, but five of them. I mean, come on, man. The whole dynamic of the show is the ladies come to you to live. You know, they experience that lifestyle. It's not, you know, going off to some paradise vacation, get to meet somebody. No, it's great. Now we go home. Ladies come to the house and that vacation period runs off for them. 
and you get to really see who's wants to be there and who's willing to be there, which is unlike any other show there is. Yeah. Yeah. It might be their future home, so you really got to pay attention to see who's keen to it and who's not, you know? Yeah. And we like seeing that on the show too, because that's the most mm -hmm. fun part. It's like, oh, you're excited and you're down. It's like, what happens when you're on the farm? You yeah, know? absolutely. <laughs> is there a difference between a farmer and a cowboy? Mm -hmm. What is it? So for me, being a cowboy, I'm not a farmer. I have friends that are farmers and kind of rope and compete like I do. But you know, I'm riding horses, I'm roping cattle, I'm doing an event to where a farmer is making a product, you know, a produce or, or growing something from the land or cattle selling something, you know, even yeah, or... cattle farmers, you know, cattle ranchers. But you know, for me, just being a cowboy, it's, it's a whole different thing. I'm sort of in the same boat as him, you know, grew up a cowboy, grandfather <laughs> broke horses, grew up with quarter horses, but you know, I got crops that I grow and uh, some future plans to grow my farm that I just got, but more cowboys, you know, it's a lifestyle. If you weren't farming, what would you be doing? I'm a photographer on the side. No way! I, yeah, I do events and rodeo stuff and Western kind of lifestyle. So I would try to really dig deep into that. That's wow. nice to switch it up too for you, I'm sure. Yeah. Something in the outdoors. You just put me outside and I'm happy. Could be a lot of things. <laughs> <laughs> Very true. Just thinking about everything Keep outdoors. It the <laughs> everything, yeah. everywhere, all at once. A lot of outdoors activities. <laughs> Is yeah, it's like, does that happen here in LA? <laughs> yes, it like, does. Oh, we concrete. go hiking. Yeah, we get go smoothies run, after. We go to Runyon Canyon. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to stick around and play a couple of games with our director? Yeah, Katie? we'd love to. <laughs> I have no animals to feed or take care of here, so why not? Okay, yes. deal. Perfect. Then it's perfect time. <laughs> Katie and Amanda will be competing against each other. Farmer Ty, Farmer Mitchell, you are going to be asking Amanda and Katie some questions to determine who's gonna be better suited for life on the farm and who could be on the next season of Farmer Wants a Wife. Question one, ladies. What's up? Yeah. Tell the farmers, what do you do for fun? Hey guys, my name's Amanda. I'm a really simple girl who lives in LA. I practice my rope skills and I look up different kinds of cows. I know it sounds <laughs> weird, but I am seriously obsessed with it. What do I do for fun? I love the idea of the outdoors. I have an autoimmune <laughs> issue and it prevents me from spending a lot of time outside. I do develop a rash, a butterfly rash on my face, but I can go to the beach at night. And <laughs> I swear to God, I go to the beach at night. And also I do a lot of improv comedy and I love to watch movies. Oh. So. What scares you about living in the country? Absolutely nothing. Oh. Fearless. Amanda. I'm gonna be more honest. I am terrified of horses. Um, oh, wow. They're very large. And actually, I was once in a carriage and we saw a different carriage get into a carriage accident. <laughs> I swear this is true. I really have been on farms. And so the person driving the carriage threw me a knife. <laughs> she said, go cut them free. I've never held a knife like this and I've never cut someone free from a carriage and I couldn't do it. <laughs> so ever since then, I've been very afraid of horses. What I have that? so many questions, but I don't, I don't know if we have the time. <laughs> How do you think you could handle difficult farm work? Easy, I think I just put on an outfit similar to this and get out there in the briar patch and show them my rope. Yes. I'm shockingly strong. <laughs> <laughs> I once had a full line of people and we did arm wrestling and I beat every single person. It was so many people. It would shock you. My muscles. But I feel see like the muscles. Uh, was not like, was right it, now. Was it a, no. it's a group of kindergartners or what? <laughs> yeah. Based on how they could handle difficult farm yeah. work, who deserves to be on a farm? You give us your best yeehaw. Yeehaw! Ooh. <laughs> ooh. 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 Was that a good ooh or a bad ooh? Sarah. Yee! <laughs> no. No. <laughs> Wait, can you do it? Yeehaw! Ooh. Well, let's hear yours. I don't really yeehaw. Hell yeah. Yee! I like that. Yee! Yeah, you know? he's just trying to like hang out, no, that was be good. fun. I like yeah, you that. did great. Ben is gonna come on the set, our producer. <laughs> here we are now. So thank you, Ben. Based on the fact that here we, we do have a first and second place. Sorry that you're the host for this one. You can't. All good. Anything. Yep. Um, for the being that can't give you anything other than rope. Oh my the gosh. Ranching, and learn how to use rope. Incredible. Thank you. I I'm really really excited to be on the farm. And I'm sure you would rather have nothing more than my face and it says a rope in my hand and fire in my heart, but I cannot say it quite like you did. Born with a rope in my hand. Like what do you and mean? Fire sorry. in my heart. Rope in my hand, fire in my heart. 
<laughs> that is an Amanda quote. Thank Yay! you, Ty. But Seriously. Being that there is a second place. Wow. <gasps> oh my gosh. Wow. Yes, that's that's amazing. This is incredible. Lasso <laughs> of love. I love this You're really so on much. Yeah. It's really, really right. cute. That's Mitchell, what we do when it was here. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you guys so much for playing along with us. We had so much fun. And make sure to watch Farmer Wants a Wife to see who they choose. Yeah. yeah. And it's, it's Katie or me. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeehaw. <laughs> yeehaw! That was a fun, a fun time that we've just had. Do you want to know who won the vibe check? We're dying yes! to know. And who talked about and embodied agriculture Die the best? Die criming, screaming. <laughs> the winner? Is Rob. What? This is. Oh! My. That's gonna pack perfectly in a suitcase. <laughs> and we have something for the loser. I'm all good, thanks. It's Amanda. No, I'm good. I'm chilling. This is a shovel oh. for shoveling manure. So that's what you get. Wow. It's kind of nice. The joke's on you because she loves that. That's really cool. Amanda. What'd you learn today? I could actually be the wife of a farmer. You really did learn that. I did, seriously. Actually, you really could, probably today. I'm coming with you, Ty. Yes. What uh, did you learn? It is hard to date a farmer on a TV show. Yeah. That is a difficult job, especially if you're from the city. Cheers. Cheers to you crop dusting me earlier. Yep. What are you drinking? Photosynthesis. Uh, photosynthesis. Photosynthesis. Yes! Photosynthesis. Yes, you got it. What are you drinking? I am drinking the agriculture girl. <laughs> Make sure to like, share, and subscribe. You can watch all the reality check videos on Fox TV's YouTube channel. And remember, agriculture is everywhere. <laughs>